Walt Disney said, if you can, if you can dream it, you can do it. And I really I believe in that. Hi everyone, I'm here with Paul Hanlon backstage at Paco Rabanne. I'm going to talk to him about his career because he's a very successful hairdresser. What was your first job in fashion? My first job job was actually a um, Hugo Boss show actually. Oh uh, really? And it was in uh, Berlin and they asked me to do it and that was like, that was sort of my break and then having the taste of that made me feel this is what I want to do. I also feel when I'm working that the hair can create a character so much and if the hair is wrong it's really hard to make actual believable character. I mean so many photographers say that if the hair's wrong the picture's wrong. It's like you're a performance artist you've got to and like people like oh I don't like that give me that and you've got to be able to change. What kind of advice would you give like a 16 year old sitting at home that wants to start working or like get to be a hairstylist? What is the first thing they should do? It's a different time we're in now with hairdressing, you know, um, but I think it's really important to look, look back at history, like research, know your references, look at the 20s, look at the 40s, look at the 50s, whether you like it or not, just look at it and, 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 and you have hair colleges, schools, but for me, the best experience is just to experience it. Hair is about touching it, doing yeah. it with your hand. Paul, what is your proudest moment of your career so far? I used to work in a salon in Birmingham. They used to play all the shows, like the fashion TV thing. And I remember seeing Alexander McQueen shows and thinking he was the most, I mean, there'll never be a person like him. It's so, it wasn't, a, it wasn't fashion, it was, it was like a show. So that was my dream was always to get to work with him. So. I started doing his men's shows with him. Yeah. And after like his third men's show, he pulled me outside Lee and he said, Paul, I, how would you feel about doing my women's show? And I started getting really emotional and he was like, what, so you don't want to do it? I'm like, of course I want to do it. That was my dream. And like, and when I did that show, it sort of made me realize that if you really want it, you, you can do it. You just got to be passionate. You got to work really hard. I sacrifice a lot, but the joy that I get from what I do and I take it home and they see that, you know, I don't know, hopefully they like sort of proud, you know. I have one more question. What is your favorite word to use backstage? You know this one. <laughs> Should we say it together? Okay. One, two, three. Beyond! Beyond. <laughs>